Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello everyone, it's Chef Fafa here of Ndudu by Fafa. Thank you again for joining me on another exciting episode. And I hope you do enjoy this episode. It's exciting. Just learn how to set your table in that elegant way. And of course, I've added my African touch. Why not? It's in Dubai for fur. Merry Christmas, by the way. Cover your table with a simple white tablecloth that is well ironed. Incorporate some color and texture to your table setting by using placemats and colorful candle holders. Place your plates onto your placemats. What a mouthful. And for all your drinking um, glasses, your wine glass, your champagne glass and drinking water glass, it should be on your right. And I think candles do play a pivotal role in any table setting. Using tea lights for your table decoration is just incredible. It adds that warmth that you so need for Christmas decoration. Steam your cutlery in hot water and get your cutlery to shine. Let your guest wonder how you managed to get that sparkle to your cutlery. <laughs> All knives should be on your right hand side and forks on your left hand side. If you are using a spoon, the spoon will be next to your knife. Cutleries in the outermost position are used first. So if you are serving a starter, make sure you have your starter cutleries on the outermost part. For that cool African touch, I've actually got the Ashanti stool in a beautiful napkin ring that works perfectly with my design. You can also use the African beads as a napkin ring and that is a perfect touch. Bolder look, you can use a bold African fabric as a runner in the middle of the table, and that would just add a beautiful dimension to your design. Arrange your candles in a beautiful way so that they reflect and they show how beautiful your table setting is. <laughs> Print your menu, especially if you're using unusual spices, um, and list them. And this will be a great point of conversation for your guests because they will keep asking, what is this? <laughs> so I have chosen keywords and beautiful, elegant touches that would open up conversations um, about African spices, which is what I did. Um, I've got words like Sankofa and Jinyame, which actually, I think, helps create that environment that people learn as well. And just know that, yes, we do it and we do it well. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and you are inspired to set a table in a beautiful and simple way. <laughs> you can find in Dubai Fafa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, my YouTube page and my blog. Find creative recipes on my blog in dubaifafa.blogspot.com. <laughs>